Hey guys, Lee here, Theme Park Ohana. I'm here at Disney's Old Key West Resort. I'm gonna to be touring a few of the resorts today. Just short, quick videos showing you some of the Christmas decorations that have gone up in the recent week. Um, so just follow the adventure. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy This is so cool. Right as you walk up to the main lobby area, you're just smacked with Christmas decorations. And I love these beach themed resorts because they have all the nautical like Christmas decorations. It's very cool. Look, even inside the window they got a Christmas tree up. And I'm loving this walkway here at the main hub here at Old Key West. Just have the decorations going up and down each side. It's so cool. And right inside the gift shop window, of course, they got all the Christmas stuff. These wreaths outside of Olivia's are just so cute. And I love, I never noticed this before, but look, there's like a little dog. So it's supposed to be like a dogfish. And there's a lion, I guess that's some sort of catfish. So cool. And this is the one that's actually on the building underneath the general store. There are a couple different unique ones on Olivia's itself. These are very similar, but smaller, but they have the little oars, starfish. I don't really see any fish on these. Oh wait, there's some in there. Here's this hiding. Pat, look at that snail. It kind of looks like Ursula. It has an evil grin to it. Jen would love that. And this one has a little more fish. Like there's a, a catfish. So cool. And you won't see anything like this anywhere else. Oh, how good does it look in this lobby? Kind of gives you an idea what they look like lit up. There's a gorgeous tree right behind me. So this must be the signature tree here at Old Key West. And I'm, I'm pretty sure at every resort we're going to see some sort of signature tree. This one's on a little on the smaller side. Some of the bigger resorts have bigger ones, but they do have a very small lobby here. But I love it. And again, it's very unique and themed towards Old Key West. And they have like Santa Mermaid or Merman, different mermaids and fish. Very, very cool. I love it. They even got the fireplace going. And it smells amazing in here. I'm not sure if it always smells this good, but it smells really, really good today. And the light posts have this awesome garland with different fish designs on it. I bet you at night this looks really cool. Oh, here at the uh, to-go area, they have a carrot cake, and it looks really, really good, but not today. Community Hall is also all decorated with its own wreaths. I'll give a closer look there in a second. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a look down the boardwalk. You can kind of see all the garland going down on the left side on the light posts. And this has its own unique decorations as well. Like there's a little boy at the beach. I like Hawaiian shirt. Very cool. I like how each one is a little bit different and has different decorations on it. And inside the community hall, they do have a little bit of small decorations. I like that the animal has a little Santa suit on up there. Oh, there you go. That's awesome. So check out the tree here inside the community center. I like how instead of garland, it has ropes going around the tree. I can't tell if that's blurry or not. But it has its own unique decorations, like a frog in a, in a little tube, a little cute little crab. Again, unique, different than everything else. So it's really cool. I was talking to the girl inside the community center. They said they're not really doing any activities right now because of COVID, but you can come in and rent, uh, or watch a movie. Like they were playing the Santa Claus in there while I was walking around. Another unique wreath. There's Christmas everywhere. She had also said that closer to Christmas, uh, she wants to try to do some Christmas trivia, but they still don't have any concrete plans. But I hope they do do that. It would be really cool to have like a Christmas trivia on the weekends here. It'd be fun. Socially distanced, of course. So really only one more thing to check out here before I leave is the gift shop. We'll go check it out, see if there's any unique Christmas decorations in there. Very light decorations, but giving you guys a good look 
if you're going to be staying here at Old Key West, what you're going to see when you're walking around the main, uh, main lobby area. Oh my goodness, look how cute this little Christmas tree is. And it has like seashell ornaments. That is adorable. And they have garland hanging from the rafters. It looks so nice in here. And look at this cute wicker basket, or like wicker Christmas presents. That is so awesome. All right, so that's gonna do it for me here at Old Key West. Um, now I gotta head over to the Contemporary for my next stroller action. Um, but uh, also, good to know, I've been asking when I go to the resorts lately because some resorts are doing it and some resorts aren't. Um, the gift shop here is doing pin trading, so if you want to do pin trading while you're here at Old Key West during the holidays, you can do some pin trading here at the gift shop at Old Key West. But now, let's head on out over to the Contemporary. Wow, there's something you don't see every day. A ferry boat going towards Bay Lake. I guess that's where they store the extra ones. It's kind of wild. It's got traffic all stop too. <laughs> Also get a nice unique view of the monorail while I'm sitting here waiting. Temporary, right off in the distance. There it is, the ferry boat. That is so cool. So this is pretty interesting. They have the, the main parking lot that's closest to the Contemporary for check-in. Closed down, they're actually gonna um, strip it and repave it. I've never seen them do that at any Disney hotel. That's pretty interesting. I feel like in the past there's been a giant Christmas tree out in front of the Contemporary, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Post in the comments below if I'm crazy, or there usually is. Look how pretty the garland is going up for, across the front here of the Contemporary. Let's get a closer look. Just some poinsettia flowers and Christmas balls, but there are lights, so I bet at night this looks pretty wild. Look how pretty this wreath is here inside the lobby. I like it. And this tree is the same size as the one in the lobby at Key West. Now I don't know if this is going to end up being the signature tree here, but man, it's got some serious bling on it. I am absolutely loving the look of this lobby. It is beautiful. This is pretty cool. They um, offer gift baskets. Purchase a pre-made holiday gift basket or build your own at Bayview Gifts on the fourth floor. That's awesome. Pretty way to just grab something on your way out when you're checking out. And over here where they generally have the TV on for the kids while you're checking in, they got like a little kitty Christmas tree. It's a little, it's about the same height as me, about six foot. And over here by the back door, they got a really cute tree too. Again, it's just all blinged out like everything else. Got a wreath over there. And another big wreath here. Look at the size of this thing. Lots of bling. And the artwork has definitely switched over to Christmas here at Blinga Vista Gifts. Joy to the swirled. That is awesome. Look, it has a gingerbread Donald Duck. That is adorable. And again, gingerbread themed. Lots of gingerbread this year. Look how cute these Mickey ears are though. And inside, right in the middle of that little snowflake, you got a hidden Mickey. Not so hidden, but it's there. And they have their own little Christmas tree inside the gift shop. Holidays are the sweetest. And then we got a gingerbread and peppermint goofy. He is so stinking adorable. And this is kind of sad. This is where the gingerbread house would be, usually. And like you get hot cocoa and cookies over there, but not this year. 2020 is taking away all the good stuff. And look how cute this gingerbread Mickey Mouse with a peppermint smile. And on the other side, you got Minnie Mouse and she's holding a big candy cane. It is so adorable. And we just have some light wreaths, small wreaths in the side of the toy shop. Look at this Mandalorian child dog jerseys. They also have like a little Tinkerbell and a little Mickey Mouse. Wow, they got a lot here. They got a big selection of dog jerseys. <gasps> Look how cute that little Chippendale one is. <laughs> Dale's hitting Chip in the head with an acorn. I love it. Oh, Jen, this is the most park pals I've seen too. Look, they have a Stitch. Pooh, Stitch, Mickey, Minnie, Sully. 
the orange bird, the Cheshire cat, and what is that stinking name of the chameleon from Rapunzel? Uh, uh, Pascal. All right. Man, that was really bothering me. How was that? They got a 30 year anniversary rescue was down under different, different type of ends. It's really cool. I wonder if Jen showed this the other day. I know she showed a bunch of new merch at Disney Springs. And they got a whole bunch of different Jack Skellington ones. That's really cool. And you can't come to the Contemporary and not just come out here and enjoy the glorious views of Bay Lake. And here comes a friendship boat. Probably trekking its way on over to Seven Seas Lagoon and pro possibly the Magic Kingdom, who knows? It's good to see the boat traffic back. So my customers have hit a little traffic so I got a little extra time so I'm going to check out the Bay Lake Tower, see what kind of uh, decorations they have here. Probably very similar to what's in the main lobby, um, but I have the time so let's go take a look. It's not a duck, but it is some Disney nature as he flies off towards Bay Lake. So this is down where the elevators are. They have some unique little trees here. Very pretty. Lots and lots of poinsettia themed decorations here at the Contemporary. Yeah, they have a little bit bigger tree here, Bay Lake as well. But it looks very much like the one in the main lobby. Probably identical. And how awesome are these Christmas ornaments? I've never seen anything like these. Very, very cool. Oh, look at that awesome little gingerbread. Looks like gingerbread monorail station or something. I wonder what's inside there. Let's take a look. It's like a gingerbread contemporary, the way it's shaped. Yes, it is a gingerbread contemporary resort. It has the monorail going right through it. I didn't even notice this when I first walked in. They do have like a little display of the different treats they have at the bakery. All available at the Contempo Cafe. Look at the gingerbread man, and there's another version of the contemporary gingerbread contemporary. Very cool. So they're just getting ready to set up all the treats for the day. It's just getting near lunchtime. And here it is, $35 for the build your own gingerbread kit. So I guess you could just basically bring it home or bring it back to the room and build it yourself. I've never seen, and that's $35. I've never seen the white chocolate Minnie and Mickey Mouse. There's one there. It's like a figurine. They're almost too pretty to eat. And then I, also they have out right now chocolate peppermint bark. That actually sounds pretty good. And that's five million. Look at that cute little forky with a candy cane. They do have the gingerbread hats in stock here. I am not seeing the gingerbread plushes anywhere. I do see another smaller Santa Mickey and Minnie plush here. And that is $23. Man, that gingerbread plush, that is hard to find. How cute is that Rice Krispie Treat Mickey here? It has like a Santa hat on it. That is really adorable. <laughs> the Santa cookie. So we're going to do exchange. Yummy. And I think we've shown everything else that's here. So that's going to do it for me today. Two resorts, two quick um, Christmas tours of what they got going on at Old Key West and here at Disney's Contemporary. A little bonus of Bay Lake Tower, but not really much going on there. But that is cool where I noticed the gingerbread house, the, the kit. So I had time to do a little more investigating to find it over at Contempo Cafe. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, tap the subscribe, ring the notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys. Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.